welcome to edupedia world in this module we will study about methods of construction of index numbers methods of construction of index numbers the various methods of constructing index numbers can be grouped under two heads unweighted or simple index numbers and weighted index numbers both of these methods of constructing index numbers are further classified as simple aggregative method and simple average of price relative method the different methods of constructing the index numbers can be shown by the following chart you can see the chart and you can see the different methods of constructing the index numbers unweighted simple index numbers in the construction of unweighted or simple index numbers all the items of the series are given equal importance or weightage no specific weightage is given to any item of the series because all items are assumed to be equally important these are constructed by the following methods simple aggregative method and simple average of price relative method both the method we will discuss in detail in the coming slides simple aggregative method this method is also known as actual price method it is a simple method to construct index numbers in this method aggregate prices of commodities in the current year that is sigma p1 are divided by aggregate prices of these commodities in the base year that is sigma p0 it is expressed as a percentage symbolically it is written p 01 is equals to sigma p1 divided by sigma p0 multiplied by 100 where p01 is equals to price index of the current year related to base year sigma p1 comes sum total of prices of the commodities in the current year sigma p0 is equals to sum total of prices of the commodities in the base year current year is the year for which index numbers are constructed and base year is the year of reference with which the extent of change in the current year is measured let us understand simple aggregative method with the help of a following illustration in this particular illustration we have to construct index numbers of 1999 taking 1985 as the base year from the following data using simple aggregative method the data is given to us that is commodities a b c d e f and prices in 1985 and prices in 1999 is provided to us so for the solution we will make the table of three column in the first column we will write commodities that is a b c d e and f in the second column we will write prices in 1985 that is p 0 8 15 12 10 10 12.5 we will add up the values we will get sigma p0 equals to rupees 67.5 now in the third column we will write prices in 1999 that is p1 10 21 36 14 12 and 70 we will add up the values we will get sigma p1 equals to rupees 110 now we will write down the formula that is p01 equals to sigma p1 divided by sigma p0 multiplied by 100 we will put up the values and we will calculate it we will get 162.96 so as you can see that the price index 162.96 shows that there is a net increase of 62.96% in prices in 1999 as compared to prices in 1985 This is how we will calculate index number by using simple aggregative method. Next, we come to limitations of simple aggregative method. First, it is influenced by the magnitude of the prices. It means higher the price of a commodity, greater is its influence on the index number. So, high price commodities receive greater weightage. then low priced commodities for example if rice prices are relatively higher than those of wheat 
then rise prices tend to influence this index relatively more than the prices of wheat. Next limitation, equal weights are assigned to every item in construction of this index. The relative importance of various commodities is not taken into account. For example, items like pencil and milk are assigned equal importance in the construction of this index. This limitation renders the index of no practical utility. And the last limitation is prices of various commodities may be quoted in different units like rupees per quintal, rupees per liter or rupees per meter and so on. Thus, the index is influenced very much by the units in which commodities are quoted and accordingly some of the commodities may get more importance because they are quoted in a particular unit. So, these are the limitations of simple aggregative method. Now, we come to simple average of price relatives method. It is another method to calculate unweighted index numbers. We first calculate price relatives of the current year. A price relative is the price for the current year expressed as a percentage of the period of the base year. Symbolically, it is written price relative equals to P1 divided by P0 multiplied by 100. Price relatives for each commodity are calculated. We find sum total of price relatives that is sigma under bracket P1 divided by P0 into 100 or sigma PR or sigma R. Here PR or R is equals to price relative. This total that is sigma PR is divided by the number of commodities as we have to find average of price relatives. Symbolically it is written P01 equals to sigma under bracket P1 divided by P0 into 100 dividing whole by N or we can write it down like this also sigma PR divided by N. Here P01 equals to index number of the current year P1 equals to price of the current year P0 equals to price of the base year N equals to number of commodities and R or PR equals to price relative. So we will understand simple average of price relative method with the help of an illustration in the coming slide. Simple average of price relative method. Illustration. We have to construct an index for 1999 taking 1985 as the base using simple average of price relative method. As you can see in the table that commodities A, B, C, D, E and F is given to us and prices of 1985 and 1999 are provided to us. So we will start with the solution. We will make the table of four columns. In the first column we will write commodities that is A, B, C, D, E and F. In the next column we will write prices in 1985 which is denoted by P0. So we will write the prices that is 8, 15, 12, 10, 10, 12.5. In the third column, we will write prices in 1999, which is denoted by P1. That is 10, 21, 36, 14, 12 and 17. In the fourth column, we will write price relatives. That is PR, which is equals to P1 divided by P0 into 100. So, 10 divided by 8 into 100, we will get 125, 21, divided by 15 into 100 we will get 140 36 divided by 12 into 100 we will get 300 14 divided by 10 into 100 we will get 140 12 divided by 10 into 100 we will get 120 and 17 divided by 12.5 into 100 we will get 136 we will add up the values we will get sigma pr which is equals to 961 now we will write the formula that is P01 equals to sigma PR divided by N. So in the table we got sigma PR which is 961 divided by 6 
we will get 160.17. So, what does it mean? It means the price index 160.17 shows that there is a net increase of 60.17% in prices in 1999 as compared to prices in 1985. Remember that answer by simple aggregative method and simple average of price relative method may not be same. There may be variation in the answers by using different methods. Now we come to merits and demerits of simple average of price relative method. First we will discuss merits. This index has the following advantages over the simple aggregative method. First. The value of this index is not affected by the units in which prices of commodities are quoted. The price relatives are pure numbers and therefore are independent of the original units in which they are quoted. Second merit, equal importance is given to each commodity and extreme commodities do not influence the index numbers. Now we come to demerits of simple average of price relatives method. First point. As it is an unweighted index, each price relative is given equal importance. However, in actual practice, a few price relatives are more important than others. Second demerits. Difficulty is faced with regard to the selection of an appropriate average. So these are some of the merits and demerits of simple average of price relative method. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos.